what's up everybody, this is Wyatt aka Anticubator here bringing you yet another toy review and today we are taking a look at Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. Uh, this is the, or I guess Robots in Disguise version or the mainline version. Uh, first edition was not released in the United States, which is where I reside, so I did not have a chance to pick him up at retail. And this guy is a pleasant substitute. I believe he does things better than the first edition, though does not live up to certain things the first edition proclaimed. Uh, preceding him. One of which being weapons, but we'll get to that later. Here is Cliff Jumper in his muscle car mode. Um, pretty cool. This is kind of small though. We're going to remove this. Kind of small. You can kind of see the comparison to my hand. Um, kind of small, but not not too small to be like, ew, what the, what the heck. Um, not that much smaller, th smaller than the first edition from comparisons. He does have nice paint apps from the pipes down here, even though they're not fully painted, but they just continue to there, so. His rims are painted, and his grill is all painted, uh, the light in here. The grill is all painted, especially with the headlights. Uh, rubbery horns up here, which isn't bad, though. Um, the clear windows all the way around. A random mech tech port, but I don't mind because you can just gas tank, whatever. And back here you have uh, some paint with just some black and silver on the bumper. Not bad, but yeah, I uh, I enjoy that a lot. I think uh, this this vehicle mode looks nice, except for the protruding hole up here. But I get used to it, so it's it's not that big of a deal. You can mount his gun up top and have him uh, cooking something on his way to stuff to cut. I don't know. My puns aren't working today, so I'm broken. It's like two o'clock in the morning and I'm tired. Not even two forty-seven. It's like 3 o'clock. Things I do for you guys. But I haven't made a review in a while, so. Flip jumper. Uh, let's transform him. What do we want to do? We're going to start up here from the front. And split this. Split this. And then you can free up the doors in this whole assembly up here. The fender, the headlight, and the door on both sides. What you're going to want to do with this is do this with both and pull them to the side. And as doing that, you rotate this down and spin that. And now you can finish pulling them to which an automorph feature happens and the cliff jumper's head pulls up or is pushed up. Rotate them around. Take the hand push it up and out get it out of the way and then push the door down and fold down the uh, window the door how it connects to the uh, forearm I'll show you in a second uh, and uh, yeah the the, uh, the wrists are ball joints which isn't bad but it does fall off when trying to get it there's just two posts here onto this so that's his forearm I don't know if there's any way to switch it around or do something to make it look better, but that is how his forearm is, or his just arm is formed. Kind of weird looking, and I, I think I'll get used to it, but it's just awkward at this point, or uh, at least as as is. Next, come back here, split the back, take this panel, which you just grab it up here as it starts to pick up. Grab it back here, push it down, or up, I guess. Take the middle panel line you see here, push this up. But before you fold it down, take the t the hood piece, fold it down. And there's a peg on the horns, and right there, you, know, you don't have to make them touch or whatever, but they can. I just lay them as flat as possible. Now, what you do is you take the legs and you unfold them, rotate the waist around 180 degrees, and rotate his feet around. Last but not least, or I guess not, you can give or take, rotate these around. Those leg panel chin things, which I don't even know what they are, they're pretty least to the transformation of this guy. Situate them, 
adjust your lights, get him into frame. There you have Prime Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. This guy is so different from the first edition. I I don't I don't own the first edition, unfortunately. But this guy is totally different. He's using a faux chest and a just completely new mold that's kind of a more I think the best way to describe this is stout. So that sculpt is kind of dirt, but not bad. He's angry and he has light piping and he's more of just in battle. Um, not bad, but I think it's the lack of panel lining or definition of his expression that gets me in person. You can see all the way down into his chest. This kind of works. Oops. It's kind of. No, we're not starting the review. We're like halfway in. You can see this works better a little bit using the faux chest, but uh, it's all preference if you like transformation or execution better. All the way down to the nice detailing on the uh, nicely sculpted legs. All the way up. His uh, groin and uh, midsection is also sculpted nice. His hands with uh, the accurate hands. Forearms and uh, to biceps are kind of weird, but I'll show you later. Accurate shoulders. And yeah. He cheats, but he does it well. And I cannot say he looks bad. I was originally not impressed with this figure at all from pictures we saw. But after coming to the realization um, without paying $50 for the first edition, this was my only alternative. And I'm not that disappointed. I do dig it. His weapon accessory is this war hammer, or whatever you want to call it. It's a hammer, but I don't really care for it being a hammer. Um, you can have it be a hammer. You can hold it in either hand. And he'll just hold it and be like, yep, got a hammer. Been working on the railroad. Or, or you can do what I do. This magic port right there. Plug it into his hand. And guess what? Cliff Jumper has got a rifle gun shooter thing that he shoots and kills people with. So awesome. There's Cliff Jumper, I guess, with Mech Tech. It's not Mech Tech, though. It's just. It's just a gooberish gun with a, an overexposed. There we go. It's a neat shot. His articulation, though. Cliff Jumpers. Whoops. No! Review, don't fall apart on me now. Don't you die on me. Why did my computer just shut off? Come on now. That's weird. Anyway. What, uh, what we shall do, or no, what we'll do, what he does, uh, articulation wise, is his head rotates 360 on a ball joint, so you gotta get good movement out of it all the way around. Arms go 360 all the way around, go in and out, it's on a ball joint, so it's universal. Uh, swivel up at the upper bicep, double jointed uh, elbow, which is still weird, but, you know, whatever. Legs or the waist rotates, but kind of gets hindered. But it can go 360. Legs go forward and back on a ball joint. Bend the knee nicely, very nicely, and foot pivots and swivels. So he has more articulation, I believe, than the first edition. Um, sure, I wish he had his fold-out handguns. That's the main point, the main uh, contingency of the first edition. But hopefully, this one persuades a few people, Seth, to buy it. So. I definitely do uh, dig this figure, and I, I am glad I own it. It's not like I, I dislike it or disdain it in any fashion. I just think uh, it'd have been cool to own the first edition as well as this one. He is short, he is stout, he's strong, and he is uh, lean. He is Cliff Jumper from Transformers Prime. If you have any questions about him, please leave it in the comment section down below. Please like or dislike, depending on if you did or not. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the review. I have many more. Check out Primecast every weekend on SSJ Autobots YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.